Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today into tomorrow. So, because you know, for people that are in different countries, and you know, their time is way ahead of ours. So, it's for the 14th, 15th. I'm using the Vice Versa deck, and I do apologize for the delay. I had company, so I had to I had to wait to do this. But now I'm free, and I'm here to do your your reading for energy, whatever whatever's going on. And somebody, you know, I cut the deck like I usually do before I turned on the camera, and I got the Eight of Swords, and somebody is stuck, right? Somebody is really, really stuck, and it's like they're comfortably stuck, not even trying to break free. Thinking about it, right? Thinking about it very... Um, thinking about it a lot and there's definitely been some betrayal okay because we have seven swords we have four on this side three on this side seven of swords there's been some betrayal there's been some deception and it looks like you have the power you have the ace of swords and you know the truth you know the truth right you do because that's the sword of truth it's also the sword of power to to cut to cut those those cords, to cut the the rope. You have the power. You can do it. You can grab that sword and use it enough, even if it makes you bleed. Even if you have to grab it with your hand and it causes you to bleed, you can free yourself. But right now, you don't want to for some reason. Even though you know that the grass is greener over there. You know, you know it. You see it. You, you know. I'm going to cut the deck one more time. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's some sort of conflict, a competition going on, right? There is some sort of competition. Ego. It's based on ego, right? It is. Somebody is fighting their ego, their pride. Worried about what everybody else is going to say. And this has been going on for a long time, okay? Now, typically my readings are love readings. Keep that in mind. This reading is for somebody. It might not be for you. It could be. It might not be. You may have to bleed. You know, let yourself bleed, unfortunately. You know, you may have to feel some pain. To get to that more beautiful place. Okay. So, yeah. Looks like somebody... I mean, this card always looks to me like... Somebody's, somebody is coming with some sort of help. And she's like, huh... I've been doing it by myself. What are you doing? We have this guy who's wounded. He's been hurt and he wants her. We have a wounded man who has, has who thinks that he has found a safe haven but out comes this woman and is like, oh no. What are you doing? This is mine. This is my home. <laughs> now 
It's like this guy is like, we can help each other. What can I do? What can I do to help you so that you can help me? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, this card just really, really, really wants to come up, doesn't it? Oh, we have one guy that is not giving up, that's for sure. Justice. Justice. Woo, -hoo, I'm getting the goosebumps. Oh boy. This girl, this woman doesn't believe. She's like, yeah, you're hurt, but why should I trust you? Why should I let you in to my home? Somebody's been waiting for quite some time. Again, they have. I mean, somebody has just about died waiting. Come to a point of... I realize that this is never going to change. Starting to realize it's never going to change. This guy is... He's not experiencing any growth at all. It's like he's in the deadwood forest. Everything's dead there. There's no growth where he's at. We have a man that is in a situation where there's he's not going to get anything out of it. He's not. not. No more than what he's already got. He's got his shovel and he's contemplating digging up that tree. He's not happy about it either, but he can see that there's no more there's no more blossoms on it. There's no it, it's not going to happen. The tree's dead. Now this is like a final decision being made. This is also a card of integrity. So I think that somebody is mm. coming back, perhaps there's some sort of think of the word it's right on the tip of my tongue too if there's some sort of redemption almost it's like somebody is coming to speak the truth after they've brought you to your knees Definitely has to do with ego. It does. Was this this reading or another one? I let the readings go so fast I can't remember. But this does have to do with ego. Absolutely. This is ego oriented. We have a woman that has been brought to her knees. And she doesn't trust this man. Now this man has been involved in a dead end situation. Trying to prove himself. Trying to prove a point. And it looks to me like now he just wants his stability, his security. And he may be um, deciding that it's time to do the right thing with the justice card. There's a loss here. There's a financial loss. There is with that seven of pentacles. It's like you're not going any further in this situation. 
if it's not financial, it's stability. It's like the, whatever you thought you were going to get isn't coming to fruition. You're not getting what you thought you were going to get. We have a man that's not getting what he thought he was going to get. And, that, and now he's been wounded. Now he's been wounded. And it's like... He's looking for a chance to prove himself to this woman that he brought to her knees. Because he's been wounded now. Now the shoe's on the other foot. It was all based on pride and ego. It really was. So it looks to me like... It's funny. Before I started this reading, I saw this card in my head. But it was a different deck. I saw the Three of Wands in my head getting prepared. I did, so I should have just mentioned it. But it was a different deck. I saw it in. I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I didn't even see the card per se. I saw it in my head. I I thought of the three of wands, and now we have it. The three of wands is prepared. Somebody has gotten prepared, or they're in the process of getting prepared. Maybe. This dissatisfaction in this dead end situation has made somebody realize where their abundance and happiness lies. Abundance, happiness, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. There's a test. Somebody has been through some sort of test. And this test, this whatever it was that they went through, has now reversed the roles by the looks of things. The roles have been reversed. They have. Now we have a man that is prepared. This man is now prepared. To make some sort of offer, perhaps a stable offer. So we do have somebody here that, a man that has been wounded and wants, wants a chance from a woman that has her guard up. Whether this is new love or past love, we have a man that has been wounded by his pride. His pride has been hurt. He's still standing. And he and he wants to bring some sort of balance back to his life and make some sort of offer that he has been delaying. He's been delaying making this offer. This could even be an apology. It could be. 
I do see that there is a completion here, a completion of a cycle with these two tens. It looks like there is some sort of opportunity for happiness, abundance, security, something long term. It's like a wish is being granted. It really is a time of happiness. There could be even a reconciliation. I hate to say it, but there could be. Because there is a... There's a man that has received some sort of karmic lesson and the roles have been reversed. This is karma. So it is. So there's been, you know, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought that they were going to have growth. They thought they were going to, everything was going to be peachy and they were going to get more. But the reality of it is... That didn't happen. And now it feels as though they, they want another chance. Somebody wants a chance. Now, I don't know if this is somebody new or what. Is this new? You know, I, this could be new. This could be new. If you are single, get prepared because there's a there is a opportunity for two people to help each other okay to help each other heal she's guarded her guard is up she's like her hand is like no what back up you know so i think there's a woman who has her guard up and there's a man that has been wounded and there's an opportunity for you guys to come together if you can it's not, you need to pick your battles. You don't, you know, pick your battles, all right? You don't need to, you don't need to compete in every situation. Anyway. Um, and the woman is guarded because she's been with a man that has brought her to her knees. And we have this man that doesn't care okay this guy doesn't care he, he's he's very uh well you could call this guy like a psychopath okay he doesn't care that she he's not helping her he could care less he's not helping her he's like tough shit stay there i don't care But, but perhaps this, this woman walked away. You know, this woman, see, the roles have been reversed. It's, that's what's happened here. The roles have been reversed. Somebody has walked away. Now they have their guard up and there's another opportunity. There's an opportunity. I'm just going to lay out all four cards. Ooh. Now, look at this. The Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups mirroring each other and the Three of Swords. Son of a bitch. So, yeah, there's definitely some hurt. Some, some real big, 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 big hurt here. Big time. Wow. I got the goosebumps. You know, there's, there's an... There's been some sort of breakup that has liberated or freed somebody from something that was very hurtful. We have a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of um, belittling, per se. And it feels as though there's an opportunity, there's a new opportunity 
for happiness. If someone could apologize, because this is kind of like an apology of some sort. And I don't even think apology would be accepted at this point. I mean, I really don't. I don't know who this is for, but you know, you know that there's no growth. You know that there's no growth with this dead situation. And you notice how it just got darker. There's too much darkness surrounding the pain. You know what I mean? There is. I feel as though there's some sort of I think that there's going to be some sort of uh, action that is taken that has been delayed for quite some time from a man that I think there is a man that is going to take action okay there's a man that is going to try to get in good graces with a woman that has her guard up whether this is new or somebody from the past this man is very um it's a bigger man okay this man i think this is a bigger man so a man like this okay i'm looking at this man i, I feel like there is a man that is um wanting to barter you know what I mean and for lack of a better word you know he's wanting to I can help you you can help me what do you say what do you say let's 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 give this a shot let's give this a shot and it could lead to something stable it could lead to something secure I think this that both people in this circumstance have been through some sort of massive hurt massive betrayal They've both been really um, reeling some, from some sort of loss. I feel as though uh, the pain is still there for both of them and that they have an opportunity to help each other heal. I feel as though they can balance out each other very well. I feel like this is a opportunity for you know some sort of love to come out of this. I feel like there's been a completion of one cycle. I mean, 10, 10, 10. We have completion, completion, completion. So endings bring new beginnings. I think that there has been somebody that has walked away from something. Two people that have walked away from an, un, uh, um, an emotionally unfulfilling situation that just about killed them. And I feel like... These two people have an opportunity to come together and work together very nicely if they can you know pick their battles and allow themselves to come together, you know. It feels as though There's just a lot of pain that is still on the surface. There is, there is. There's a lot of pain that's on the surface here. I feel like somebody has or is wanting a chance. Somebody is wanting a chance to prove themselves. Yeah, there is. There's an offer of love that's been delayed because of pride. I mean, I think that's how we started this out. I think that we started this out with this, and that's what it's ending with. 
I feel like there is some sort of emotion or, or emotional support because this is emotional support. It is. You help me, I help you. So I think there's an opportunity for two people to come together that have both been wounded. One of them is guarded. One of them has... Um, just about given up okay but had hasn't given up and somebody is 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 wanting to go back now we have all these fives expect the unexpected somebody has is going through some major life changes right now and they're making choices based on their past experiences obviously i think there's somebody that has come to the realization that their pride and ego has gotten in the way i do i do think that and now they want a chance now they want a chance and they're going to be a different person this time it's like no i can i realize i've been hurt and i realize now that that that's not worth it it's not worth it to fight it's not worth it to win you know so I feel like there is somebody here that, and I can't say it's new love or if it's somebody from the past, but I do see that there is a man. I do see, I mean, the very first card. There is a man that is asking for a chance from a woman. But this woman has been devastated by another man that walked away. This man walked away, you see. I mean, he did. This man walked away and left her there. Stabbed her right in the chest. Stabbed her in the heart. Because he thought the grass was greener on the other side. He thought that he was going to get a lot more someplace else. That's what ego will do for you. So anyway, and now there's there now I think that what has happened is whatever didn't grow has ended with these tens. It's completed. That 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 cycle that didn't grow has been completed. Okay, it has. And now he's probably seeing things more clearly with that high priestess about his ego, you know, and he's thinking about the loss. Thinking about being doing the right thing. Thinking about apologizing or making an offer in a different direction. Whatever. This could go many ways. But there's definitely some sort of hurt here. Big time with this three of swords. There is. There's a... some. We have a... I think it's a man. I do. I think there is a man that had... Because we have a, there are more men in this reading than anything. We really do. I think that there is a man that has been hurt and now he sees now he gets it he's gained a lot of wisdom huh he has he's gained a lot of wisdom and he wants his security and he wants his stability and he wants his family you know he wants wants it all the ten of cups is underneath it so i feel like we have a man that has decided i want happiness so i'm gonna go make this offer to this woman that i know is guarded this man knows this woman is guarded this man knows that this woman is weary and he knows that she is going to question him But he's going to do it anyway. Because that's what's going to bring balance and harmony back to his life. Because that's what he thinks is the right thing to do. And it probably is. I think we have a man that has made a decision. That he's going to do whatever he has to do to bring balance back to his life after he made a bad decision is this new love
I can't say. But it could lead to happiness. It could lead to marriage. But right now, you know, things are not emotionally stable. Put it that way. Things are not emotionally stable. We have some. We have a. We have uh, some grieving going on here. There's some grieving, so I feel like there is somebody that is coming in to help you with your grieving, and you can help them. It's like two people grieving and healing together. It's like there's some sort of ego death because you notice this is just a shell. It's just the shell that stabs. It's the, e it's the ego death. I think that we have, uh, and I'm, I know that there's a lot of men that watch this, but I think that we have a man, and I'm not being sexist, trust me, that has received a karmic lesson And we have a woman who is reluctant to let this man in. But this opportunity could lead to love and happiness and marriage and something long term and stable. If you just talk about it and take your time go slow take all the time that you need slow and steady wins the race right this is a this is a solid offer it is a solid offer so i feel like somebody has received some sort of well karmic lesson that has made them realize and appreciate <coughs> you know where they're going in the future made that makes them appreciate what they're worth where they're going makes them realize that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. The grass wasn't greener. Whatever. I don't know. I just, I, I just feel like there is an opportunity for a joining together of two people that can help each other heal. And I think it's something that you're ready for. Who, if this is a man or a woman, I think you're ready for it. So yeah, be prepared to receive. Somebody is taking action. They've been delaying it. But it feels as though they know that the time is now. Because sooner or later that bridge is going to be burned and it's going to be too late. Let's get one of these. This is a long drawn out reading. I don't like them like this, but it is what it is. Um, you know, for me, and you know, you have to make this fit with your situation. This has to be a new offer. It has to be. It has to be. So, I mean, I don't see, maybe this reading isn't for me, right? And I have to accept that just like you might have to accept that. This is a welcome offer of love, the Page of Cups. It usually is an, a welcome offer. Maybe it's what this woman has been waiting for. But even though she's guarded, I mean, this is definitely the kind of guy I'm looking for. <laughs> Not saying that this reading is for me, but I'm just saying... There is a man that is coming in 
to help. But he's going to need your help as well because he's been wounded. So, you know, I'm really thinking, I'm hoping to God this is somebody new. Can't say it is, though, because this is for this. I don't know who this reading is for. A lot of times, these daily vibes don't even resonate with me. So I don't know who this reading is for. I wouldn't take somebody back from my past. Love who you are. This just fell out. Taurus had this as well. You are a divine and wonderful person, deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. I don't know how that fits with this reading. But I do feel as though there is an offer coming in that you may not expect. Expect the unexpected with these fives. Five, 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 expect the unexpected. This person could be the answer, the hope, the person that brings balance back to your life. And stability. And it could lead to something long term with a lot of happiness. But the, seriously. So, are you going to let it in? Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. If it's a new person, for me, I would let them in at this point. I've, I'm prepared. If it's somebody from my past that has brought me to my knees and didn't give a shit, the answer is no. Because I am a divine and wonderful person deserving, deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. up to you. Good luck for that one.